Hello and welcome to Cutaneous Lymphoma Treatment video series presented to you by Cutaneous Lymphoma Foundation. My name is Neda Nickback and I run the Dermatology Cutaneous Lymphoma Clinic at Thomas Jefferson University Hospital in Philadelphia. In this third video of the six-part video series, we will talk about skin-directed therapies used for patients with generalized skin involvement. We will discuss phototherapy first. Phototherapy consists of exposing skin to ultraviolet light and is commonly used in treatment of patients with cutaneous T-cell lymphoma subtype mycosis fungoides. So if you think about sun rays, they consist of visible light, but also a type of light called ultraviolet light, which can cause tanning. Prolonged exposure of a light skin individual to the entire spectrum of ultraviolet light can promote common types of so-called sun-induced skin cancers. However, in practice of dermatology, we also use a controlled and narrow spectrum of the same ultraviolet light for treating inflammation of the skin. Similarly, in mycosis fungoides, two light therapy options are available. Narrow band ultraviolet B, which is a shorter spectrum of, of ultraviolet B, and PUVA, which stands for sorolin plus ultraviolet A. PUVA requires taking sorolin first, either oral sorolin or soaking in sorolin bath before exposure to ultraviolet A light treatment. PUVA was commonly used in the past, but now that we have many other choices of treatment available, it is less commonly used in the US due to concerns uh, for increasing the risk of skin cancers. Phototherapy in the form of narrow band ultraviolet B can be delivered in dermatology office in a light box similar to the one you see here, or patients may purchase different size home light boxes or handheld devices to use at home. Generally, phototherapy is reserved for patients who have large areas of their body surface involved with disease, because unless a hand device is used, the light will affect the entire skin. Most patients receive three treatments per week. The length of time in the box gradually increases from a few seconds to minutes until it reaches the maximum dose. As you may expect, the side effects could be similar to prolonged exposure to sunlight, including burning skin sensation, which usually occurs if dosing is not adjusted appropriately. In addition, there is an increased risk of skin cancers with long-term treatment, especially in patients with light skin tones or those with history of skin cancers. Because we do not use the entire spectrum of ultraviolet B, the so-called carcinogenesis effects are not as extensive as exposure to the entire spectrum. Nevertheless, we try to use this treatment cautiously and not indefinitely. Patients may receive this treatment seasonally, maybe in fall and winter, a regimen that can also help with reducing the number of trips required to the physician's office. Patients may also cover areas prone to skin cancer, such as face and hands during treatment, especially if there is no significant involvement of these areas with mycosis fungoides. Narrow band ultraviolet B treatment is an ideal form of treatment for our patients with darker skin who have a lower risk of developing skin cancers. Another type of treatment that can be directed toward the skin is radiation therapy. Skin limited radiation is a method to kill cancer cells that reside in the skin. It can be used in two different modalities. 
localized or spot treatment delivered at higher doses to CTCL lesions resistant to other topical treatments can use in patients with CTCL. Localized radiation can also be used for some subtypes of cutaneous B-cell lymphoma. Total skin electron beam therapy delivers low doses of radiation to the entire skin surface. Condensed low-dose total skin electron beam therapy is a type of treatment that usually provides a quick relief to those CTCL patients with large body surface area involvement, stage 1b and above. The protocol that we use in our center, which may be similar to the one offered to you, breaks down the total amount of radiation to six fractions. Patients need to come to radiation center to receive these fractions every other day. As you see in the picture, patients will need to stand and try different postures so that all areas of skin can receive radiation. The entire regimen may last two weeks, including six days to deliver the six fractions and additional days in between to deliver radiation to the so-called shadowed sides, such as soles of the feet and the groin that did not receive radiation uh, on other days. The treatment is completed usually in two weeks and reversible side effects include hair loss, swelling or pain in hands and feet and skin irritation. <laughs> 